Some people get their manifestation quickly, while there are others for whom a similar kind of manifestation takes some time. When it takes some time, they wonder whether they are doing something wrong. Have you too felt like this in some of your manifestation cases? Well, if that is the case, then don't worry because I am here. I have been consciously manifesting things for the past four years. Some things I got quickly, while others came to me after some time. But all of them came. As Neville said, every manifestation of yours has an appointed hour. Now, stay with me till the end as I will erase this doubt that you are doing something wrong because you aren't. I am telling you this because after reading many books on this topic from different authors, experiencing it multiple times, and meditating, I have observed one thing that makes us either successful at manifesting something or failures at it. This one thing is persistence. Either you persist in the state of having your desire, or you persist in something else. No matter what, you are always persistent. Let me give you a simple example. I have two people in my reality who both have the same name. They are around the same age, yet one has a good physique while the other is fat. Both of them are not aware of the law of assumption or conscious manifestation, but they are persistent in one way or another. The one who is lean and has a good physique is persistent in being aware of what he is eating. He is persistent in not consuming lots of sugar and working out regularly. The results of persisting in these actions maintain his lean physique. You may be wondering what the other fat person is persistent at. Don't feel triggered by my calling him fat because he knows it and is completely fine with it. Moreover, he gets matches on the dating app. Have you guessed what he is persisting in? Well, he is also persisting in something, and that something is his excessive food intake, lots of sugar consumption, and minimal exercise. This is also being persistent in doing these things every day. The result of his persisting in these actions is his physique. Notice how two people with the same name and similar ages are persisting and getting opposite results. You can clearly observe that although they are persisting, they are persisting in different things. Persistence matters, but where you persist matters the most. I won't say my fat friend is not persisting, he is, but he is persisting in different ways. Therefore, his results are different than those of my lean buddy. So, if you feel like you are doing something wrong, ask yourself, where are you persisting? If you continue to pursue your desire, then you are not doing anything wrong. If your affirmations and visual scenes are in alignment with your desire, then you are not doing anything wrong. You can get it quickly, even if it has taken some time for you. This might be happening because you are not fully living in the end state of having it. The common example of not fully living from the end is when you do your imaginary act and then check your phone to see if your specific person has texted you or not. It is about you seeking evidence of its happening rather than accepting it as true in the present moment. All that matters is persistence in having your desire fulfilled. If you are new to all of this or you have manifested something previously, you know that the initial days of getting into the state of having your desire fulfilled are not that fruitful as your focus moves quickly. It happens because your body and mind have become increasingly identified with your current reality. The idea of you having your desire feels foreign to it. But as you stay persistent and assume the state and persist in those assumptions, they harden into facts. Your body and mind start accepting them as true, and opportunities start appearing in your reality. For the people who get their manifestations instantly, it is because they are persistent in their assumptions, clear about what they want, don't take no for an answer, and are consistent in maintaining those states. It is just a state that you have to master. Manifesting something is a practice where you use your mind as a tool to make something happen in external reality without using your physical actions. So, choose what you want, and I dare you to believe that you are what you want to be regardless of what your external senses tell you. Are they opposite? Well, cool, they won't be like that, they will change. Don't seek evidence or confirmation outside of yourself. Give yourself those confirmations internally. Like, the sky appears to be blue, blue is my favorite color, and she wore the blue dress when she met me. All of this means that she checked that blue dress in her wardrobe and it reminded her of me. Now she is thinking about me, missing me, wanting me, and wanting to go on a date with me. See how I changed everything, how it becomes an enjoyable activity, and how lively you feel. Some of you who are too intellectual will say it is illogical. Well, sure, manifestation is illogical, there is no logic. Our mind constantly looks for logic, but there is no logical formula. You see a coffee mug, and it reminds you of a gift you received from someone who is no longer with you. You think that they don't like you, that they don't want you, that they will never love you, and it makes you feel awful. Where is the logic in this? You will say that they don't want you, but why will you say that? It is because of the past. They didn't want you in the past. But, still, you are giving your illogical definitions. It is because it was the past and now the time have changed. But, still you say they don't want you. Where is the logic in all of this? So, my advice to you is to think in positive terms. You can persist in the idea that they don't want you, or on the other hand, you can persist in their wanting you. 
It is all up to you. So, if you are not thinking against your desire, then you are on the right path, you are not doing anything wrong. Just be persistent in that. Read any success story, and it will only tell you these three things, clarity, persistence, and not taking no for an answer. Become the success story. I hope you learned something wonderful today. Subscribe because I post these videos regularly. I will meet you with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting.